Hey, hey, welcome back. Got a little surprise for you guys. I'm heading to a motorcycle shop and see if it's open. Uh, I want to see if uh, I want to check out that Kawasaki H2. It's a badass motorcycle. And I just want to look at it and see. And uh, make a little video with the bike because I um, I would like to get that bike. Not saying that I'm gonna get that bike tomorrow, but I would definitely would like to have that bike. Great bones. Oh yeah. And I believe I got the camera working back again. Everything's working normal. I got a camera in the rear as well. See what kind of videos it take, what kind of footage. It is kind of cold. I think uh, I was 46 degree when I left the house and it's a little chilly to be in a motorcycle but I had done so much to this bike and um, well, not I would say not that much but I, I have done quite a bit of work to the bike and I just want to enjoy the mother trucker you know if you have a motorcycle and you um, worked on it and worked on it you don't go out for a ride and enjoy the bike it's just pretty much senseless to uh, to do all that goddamn work if you're not gonna enjoy it at least go out and have a good time on the motorcycle <laughs> I'm loving the sound of the bike now. It's uh, it's not as as natural as it used to be. Uh, she was pretty damn loud, and uh, they got those newest uh, mufflers uh, put in, and you can hear it. That she do sounds great. This fucking camera. Sometimes it just fuck with my emotions, and. Uh, it worked when I just want to, but I, I figured it out. The car was full, and I couldn't load any more video in it. But I already deleted everything. But it still was telling me that it was full, so I stuck it in the other GoPro and uh, deleted it on that other GoPro, and boom, that's what it was. This is what I call Hukubali Boulder Highway This place here when I first moved here to Las Vegas back in 2013 It used to be a lot of street walkers A lot of street walkers And um Either the coronavirus uh <laughs> Finished with them Like a uh, pesticide Or they're not going on in this fucking cold and probably is not going on this fucking cold because they're always walking around barely with no clothes on and it's pretty damn hot i mean cold out here yeah it is windy as hell i mean i am trying to grip to this son of my bitch and not go too fast so that way i don't lose control of this motherfucker because it's fucking blowing me like a bat out of hell I don't like riding around in the windy days like this. I just don't feel safe. But uh, here we go, man. You just gotta say fuck it and go for it. Because we we gonna wait. If we gonna wait for the perfect weather, well, we never gonna fucking ride, right? And we're not doing that. We're not waiting, and we gotta go. We gotta go, baby. 
We got to go. We got to go. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, that place right there used to look like shit. And, um, they clean it up pretty much with all the hookers and all uh, pimps and all of the people that sell drugs and live that at least they clean up clean it up and doesn't look so bad yeah so don't get they don't get any ideas <laughs> uh, yeah Las Vegas is um, is going a long way I mean it used to be really bad when I first moved here but um, at least, uh, I, guess, I guess the cops have been doing their job because, uh, man, it was bad. Oh, yeah, fucking cold. <laughs> oh, perky boy. Where are we at? Where are we at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna go between cards. I just not gonna do it. <coughs> People around here, they drive, they don't pay no attention, man, and I'm not looking to get fucked up. So, I'm gonna be a good boy. I'm gonna follow the law. And I hope this fucking place is open because I've been here before, and twice that I've been here, the fucking thing was closed. So, say we are again for one more try. What the hell this fucking asshole is doing? God, I drug it. This wind is just blowing, boy. It's blowing. And it's blowing hard. Let's go look at some good looking bikes. Don't say that my bikes not look good looking. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah! I haven't shown you guys uh, to see so you guys can see how loud this beast is uh, uh, sounding right now. Uh, I'm sure you can hear it through the damn video, but um, I'm gonna pull here in the side and give it a little bit of twisty so you guys can hear it. Hear it, you know what I'm saying? So they can hear me coming. 1983 baby still running <laughs> 1983 and still kicking ass see what we got here we got all kinds of toys here this is toy heaven you know if you guys are into this type of stuff man this is for you this is why I make videos huh man I would love to have one of those uh, it's a filler. Um, he's a, he one of my subscriber. He got one of those, and um, he uh, say he loves it. And uh, man, I tell you, I love him too. You know, to me, it's very uh, safe to ride. Man, you got four wheels going. You know, you will feel a lot safer on the road. All right, so let me give it a little twisty. Yeah, there you go. Sounds like it sounds like thunder, right? I'm gonna turn my radio off. And I uh, let's go check this out. See what we got. See what kind of inventory we got here at the uh, oh right now power sport on Boulder Highway again right now so um look at these uh, slingshots man i i would love to rent one of these um here in las vegas you, you can rent the, this uh this slingshots and um they're not very that they're not very expensive you know i would love to rent one of these and uh take it out for a ride for sure the kawasaki definitely look out of out of place she's not as shiny and brand new but just a good looking bike and uh 
Yeah, there we go. We got some good inventory here, but we got quite a bit of bikes. Um, very nice bikes. Um, got some Yamahas. Look at that. But I would hate to see the price on those. So we got a Honda here, some Honda CBR. You know, that's that. That's one thing I like about those bikes. It's, it's they're a lot um, smaller and a, a lot. You know, they're not like my like my Kawasaki. These bikes are very light, and they still got the same, pretty much the same power. Um, but you know, you gotta you gotta you gotta get what you can't afford. Um, I know one of these effing bikes they can go to go for around eight thousand dollars and uh, I really don't have eight thousand dollars to spend in a brand new bike N not eight did I say eight thousand dollars oh, man I need to start smoking weed no <laughs> 30 20 30 thousand uh, so they got quite a bit of bikes here I don't know what kind of ninja is that uh, they don't have the price on them so oh my god look at this there's some beautiful bikes out here but uh, you see what I see this thing is gorgeous wow wow now this this bike is a statement it looks like a Hayabusa if I'm not mistaken the paint job it looks like it's been wrapped that wrap is nice it's nice and thick man I like this bike mmm to say she never came here she never came here it's gonna make me now it's gonna make me buy a new motorcycle <laughs> ah those Suzuki Boulevards I, I, I'm not too crazy about those bikes uh, we got an old Yamaha there or oh, maybe it's uh, new but it looks like crap man they got some dirty ass bikes sitting here though uh, oh look what we got here at the end that is nice oh man 400 that is nice that really nice that one as well it's a Honda 250L it's very nice very awesome bikes we got a Harley Davidson here and it looks like shit she needs to be clean good looking bike good looking Harley well let's see if we can go inside and see what, what we got going on here 